There's a very cool plugin that allows you to, to use ChatGPT within Google Sheets. Let me show you a quick example. I've got here a bunch of random countries and I've actually got a prompt here saying equals GPT, tell me a fun fact about this country. This one has already been made, but let me show you how it works. If I scroll it down, then that same prompt is referencing all the new cells and quickly but surely I'm gonna start generating fun facts about those countries. Now, that's a very silly example, but this can be an absolute game changer when it comes to creating high quality meta tags and descriptions and optimizing your SEO and creating content and a bunch of other different things, particularly if you work with Google Sheets a lot. I'm sure I can leave that to your imagination and you can see how that is a pretty incredible tool. The thing is that I had been using it with this plugin called GPT for Sheets and it's great, it works fantastic, but recently they've switched to a paid model, it was free. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, it's a fantastic application and it works really well. But we can now code or we can all code with Claude so I made an app script that allows me to do that without needing to pay for this. And I'm gonna give it to you now. Let me show you how to do it. So again, the functionality is quite easy. We're gonna add another country here. Uh, we've got Italy, let's go Poland, for example. And you can do any kind of prompt that you want and select that. So the action to call ChatGPT in this instance is equals, sorry, uh, equals GPT. GPT press enter, you need to write your prompt within uh, inverted quotation marks. For example, what is the national sport of? And then you want to reference the cell. We're going to close the prompt by closing the quotation marks. We're gonna use the ampersand symbol or the and symbol as many people know it. We're going to select the cell and close that entire function with the closing brackets and hit enter. If we give it a little while, it should give us the, uh, what was the prompt? The national sport of uh, Poland, football. Now, obviously that is a long response because that's the response that ChatGPT would give you. So if you want it to be a one word response, well, you kind of tell it to do that within the prompt. So the way that we built it is by creating this code with Claude AI and Claude Sonnet 3.5, that's what it's so amazing about it. If there's a application that is now paid, particularly an easy one like a Chrome extension, there's a very large possibility that you can just create it with Claude these days. Just tell it what you want it to do and it kind of gives you the code and that's how I did it, but I'm gonna give you the code anyway for free. So in the description of this video below, there'll be a link to make a copy of this document here and that's the code. You're thinking, well, where do I put this code? You're going to go to a new spreadsheet that you're gonna work with. Or this can be a current Google worksheet that you're working with already. You've got a lot of data there, let's say. I'm just gonna copy the random uh, countries there to give an example. So with the new spreadsheet here, you're gonna go to extensions and app script. And that is where you're going to paste our simple app script that we have created thanks to Claude Sonnet 3.5. You're gonna delete these functions here. You don't want anything. You're gonna to go to the code that I've provided in the video description below. You're gonna to have to make a copy of this uh, document. Then you're gonna go back to your app script. You're gonna copy the entire thing. Now, before you hit save, there's gonna be a section here where it says open AI key and you need to put your open AI key here. Pretty simple. If you haven't gotten your API key, I have a couple of videos showing you how to do that, but you can go to your platform uh, in the playground for open AI. Uh, you get taken to this page, you wanna go to API key, you wanna go create an API key, test it. For example, GBD for Sheets version two. Uh, you keep everything like that, create key. And here, you want to make sure you copy and you save that API key somewhere because that's the last time you're going to see it. You won't get to see it again. For security purposes, I'm gonna delete that key, but you wanna save that API key. You wanna go back to your project and you're going to copy that. You're going to copy that right here. Now, all you gotta do is hit save and Bob's your uncle. You're ready to go. Now, there's a couple of things within this code that you can change how you see fit. That's the beauty about building these applications yourself. You can kind of really make them your own. For example, the model that I'm using is GPT-40 mini because it is incredible and why wouldn't you use it? 
uh, but you can also set the assistant a role. For this instance, it's just a helpful assistant. You can tell it to be a professional SEO or whatever you wish to be. Um, and once you do that and save, save the project, it'll take a little while to save. You can name it whatever you want. You go back to your Google Sheet and test it out. So again, we hit equals GPT. You see that it's working if this comes up already because it's saved as a custom function that you've created. In this instance, you can just hit enter. The open uh, double quotation marks, uh, let's, say, let's say a different prompt. What is the country that borders? reference country we're going to use the ampersand symbol and then refer to the cell and then we're going to close that whole function and give it a second and now we are going to uh, share the borders we can amend this by the way by saying telling it to for example in the prompts always answer in Spanish just as an example we're going to save we're going to go back to our sheet and then we're going to paste it and then see if it's done this correctly el país que limita con Chile es Argentina además el norte también Perú you know and now it's done this correctly and now we're using GPT 4.0 mini within Google Sheets which can be an absolute game changer. We show you how to use this to optimize your S your pages for SEO perspective on mass so even if you have hundreds of product pages on your website you can now optimize it using this little feature chat GPT within Sheets and now for free. See I run an AI powered uh, SEO masterclass it's an online community where we teach you everything you need to know about how to rank your website with AI and how to do, how to make the most out of these tools to make your workload a lot easier. One of those is how to create title tags and meta descriptions on mass with that same tool. Things like that are really cool. If you want to learn how to maximize your website's SEO and rank it number one with the help of artificial intelligence, you can check out our online community. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Uh, but all these things here are free for you to keep. But the community is really cool. We also have um, weekly catch-ups where you can have a conversation with me and a bunch of other people as well. But if you don't want to join a community and you're happy learning on YouTube with the YouTube University as it is, you are more than welcome to. Just if you found this video useful at all, please give me a little like and a subscribe. It would be much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.